Hey guys, it's Lasalle and today I'm going to show you the new housing community, Utopian Paradise! Yay! <laughs> Can you sense my excitement? I am super excited because I've been waiting for this community for the longest time and it was finally released in the Singaporean and Malaysian servers. So today I'm going to introduce to you all the 8 houses that are available in this new community. I'm also going to share some similarities and differences, give you quick tours, and at the end of the video, I'll also show you some of the rides that you can take when you own or visit some of these houses. If you just want to look at a particular house, you can jump to the timestamps in the video description below. First of all, what is Utopian Paradise? It is the third community that will be unlocked after Palm Island and Forest Castle. It is a mysterious amusement park. And as you can see here, it is exactly what it claims to be. It is super gorgeous. So in the first release, only eight houses were available, but I'm kind of anticipating there may be more because I see gaps here in the middle of the map. And the bottom of the map also looks like there may be castles there. Okay, so now let us look at all the eight houses. Number one is Candy Fair. This features a very sweet and candy theme. And it costs 962,000 chestnuts. And house number two features a gothic theme. This is the gothic manor. A bit more expensive at 1,040,000 chestnuts. Now, the thing you gotta note is that house number one and two have the same external environment and this environment does not come with rides. So let us check it out now. Oh, check out the candy theme at the back. We're going to look at the house in just a bit, but first I want to show you guys the external environment. As you can see here, the external part features this huge garden. Ooh, I love that there is this giant cherry blossom tree or something in the middle. And the roots are glowing. And then it is surrounded by other houses as well as some balloons. It kind of reminds me of some of the houses in Forest Castle. Whoa, this castle at the back is super pretty and why are the words like inverted <laughs> what does it say magic broom oh my gosh i see steps can i climb them no oh my gosh is that a railway <gasps> that's a railway station no i want to go to them let's look at the house itself for number one so this one has a candy theme and I think it's really pretty. I just want to go up though. I'm so curious. I love these doors. Wow. What a beautiful view. Oh, look at my cat. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that I brought my cat out today because I miss her so much. She's from the Kitty Whisper set and, you know, she's been looking for a new home <laughs> as well, so... I think she likes the new item in paradise. Don't you, kitty? Is this a toilet bowl? Wow, it looks really modern. I love this door, you guys. I love this heart sheet and the salmon color. I think the layout for house number one is very open. It almost feels like a dollhouse because of all the, you know, pastel colors. Oh, this is so cute. What is that thing? Oh, that painting is so cute. Are those like doggies and bears? His cheeks are so chubby. I really like all the candy colors here. I'm a fan of pastel colors, so... Whoa, that looks like something I own. IRL. Honestly, I think this is a very cute house to live in. I think this is a very happy and colorful house. If you are into pastel colors and you like candy or dollhouse concept, I think you can consider house number one. Let us go into house number two. Whoa, look at this gothic manor. So house number two has the exact same external environment as one. So I'm not going to tour the external environment. But I will show you guys the home. I noticed that the houses in general for Utopian Paradise are very open. A lot of columns, a lot of stairs, and just a very open concept. I feel like I need to be dressed as a witch or something. <laughs> 
I like this four steak cases. Why are these four pumpkins staring angrily at the stone? Is, is the stone in trouble? <laughs> Ooh, okay. I like this room, actually. I like it gives you a nice view of the area outside. Well, I think that this is a pretty cool gothic manor. If you are into a darker theme for your house, you may want to consider this. Let's move on to houses 3 and 4. They also share the same environment. And for houses 3 to 6, they all come with spinning cups and the train. So this is house number 3, Candy Maze. It costs 1,280,000 chestnuts. This is number 4, Water Fun Fair. It features this large swimming pool. So let us look at house number 3. This is house number three. Whoa, let us look at the external environment first. It's a lollipop fountain. That's what it is. What is this? A tent? Can we can we actually go in there? <laughs> look at me chilling with my kitty in the tent. OMG, I want some of these. Is that a giant cupcake? <gasps> Oh my god, check out this tunnel, you guys. It's so pretty. So in comparison to houses number one and two, I think this environment definitely feels more like a theme park, right? Because they have all these really cute and sweet structures inspired by food. <laughs> Look at these stuff. They're like crackers or waffles or something. Spinning cups. I'm going to show this to you guys later on. I love this building so much. I love how it kind of resembles a mosque, but they use like ice cream swirls to make the shape. Now let us take a closer look at house number three. Whoa, it is actually a very tall building that kind of reminds me of a dollhouse again. And it is a very open concept with a lot of windows. In front there is a huge swimming pool and then Ooh, that's a another mini swimming pool there. Oh, I love these doors. So pretty. Everything feels very pink in here. <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining because I love pink. And if you do as well, I think this might just be the house for you. Ooh, heart shaped bathtub. Love. Oh, I want to get on the hot air balloon. Honestly, I thought that we could ride the hot air balloons, but nope. <laughs> That looks like a slide. A donut slide, right? <gasps> what is that? Oh gosh, it gave me a fright. <laughs> what is that horse doing there? It's so scary. This place is reminding me of Barbie. Yes, I just recently watched the movie and <laughs> everything there was super pink. And honestly, that kind of inspired today's outfit as well. Because I feel that... You know, I'm in the mood for pink. Whoa, over here you get an amazing view. And is that a carousel at the top? <laughs> I made it, you guys. We are gonna tap on this thing because we walked all the way up here. <laughs> Aww. I am on top of the world. Honestly, I'm quite impressed by this house because I feel that it just gives you a very good view <laughs> in a lot of spots. So overall, I think this is a very pretty house if you're into a mega dollhouse <laughs> kind of theme. Yeah, the only thing is I'll probably furnish it a bit more because I feel like there are a lot of empty spaces. Now let's go to house number four, What a Fun Fair very open concept. I think the designers for Utopian Paradise really wanted all the houses to have very unique shapes and make them very open. Let us see. I'm just gonna climb up here and oh my gosh, it's bowling. <laughs> there is a bowling alley here. That's awesome. But why is the first thing I see the gym though? I feel like my ideal house here is one where I enter the house and then the kitchen is right in front of me because honestly that is the thing we do the most in our homes in life makeover we cook and we eat so 
I would prefer that room to be the most accessible. Oh. Get me chilling out here, admiring the hot air balloon. This is number 5. It has a grand mansion theme. It costs 1,670,000 chestnuts. And it also has the spinning cups and a loop train. Number 6 is the Maslow maze that also has the cups and the train and it costs 1,860,000. The houses here are really not cheap compared to the other housing communities. Let's check out house number 5. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so 5 and 6 share a new environment. I feel like it's a mixture of the first two environments. It has a bit of the amusement park, but also a bit of the foresty feel with all the trees. Oh my gosh, this absolutely deserves a selfie. <laughs> Did I just get run over by the train? Okay, never mind. I survived. Don't do this in real life, yeah? <laughs> do not stand on the train to take selfies. Whoa, sausages! This is Xiangchang, ma. I want to eat. Oh my gosh. The kitty is hungry. <laughs> she wants some sausages. So, see the main difference? For well, this environment, it's the trees, to be honest. There are a lot of orange and yellow trees that kind of remind you of autumn. Okay, so let's take a look at this house number 5, Grand Mansion. This one looks a little bit more modern, I think. It has a color palette of green and dark brown. The first thing you'll see here is this basketball court. Oh, if you guys don't know, I have a video on how to get the perfect shot in basketball. You can check it out in my tips and tutorials playlist. Oh my gosh, it's the horse again. <laughs> it's so scary. So it looks like it's an entertainment area. And then we have the fitness corner. Oh my god, how do we get up? I can't find the entrance up, you guys. Oh wait, is it here? Oh my gosh. Why so low to me? really love all these floor ceiling windows. It really opens the space up. Oh wow. Oh wow. This room is so pretty. <laughs> right? I love this room. Maybe it's the color of the floors and the walls. And then this backdrop of this beautiful ice cream mosque-like structure. It really fits the whole theme very well. Oh, I love that there's like a wardrobe here as well. And these beds are so cute. Ooh, is that my supper? <laughs> Not everything is food. Lucy. Okay, so this is number five. I think it is what it is. It's a grand mansion that is a bit more of a modern style, which I'm not sure fits with the overall utopian paradise theme. I feel like it needs to be more whimsical, but this one makes it a bit more modern. But if you like that sort of style, it could be the house for you. Okay, now I'm at house number 6. The external environment is the same as 5, so we're gonna focus on the house itself. And whoa, it looks very interesting. It is called a maze, and the first thing I noticed is that the concept is super open and there are lots of pianos on the ground floor. <laughs> So how many pianos does the house need? 12, apparently. I counted them all. <laughs> no idea why there are so many. And also, I noticed that the kitchen is right in front of the entrance. So I give this an A for functionality. And I'm going to take a break just to cook something. And I love how this cat is just sitting on the countertop as I chop. But wait a second. Am I chopping her paws? <laughs> oh no. So the first room we see is the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> and then we go in. And what is this? <gasps> Where does this lead to? Oh my gosh. Is this literally a maze? This whole house is a maze. If you go to go to the I 
think it might be a little inconvenient to get to where you might, right? And honestly, I don't even know where I'm going. <gasps> oh my goodness. I think I should go right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this leads me to this creepy horse. Can I jump? Maybe, but I do not want to jump here. I want to get to a good ending. You know what is the worst thing? I accidentally eat too much, so I can't even run right now. Um, to get out of this torture. Yeah, I gave up and just put like a door there so that I can... <laughs> Escape? Oh my god, this is how you really do it. I'm gonna add another one here. <laughs> oh my god, finally! All that leads to this bedroom, and then another maze. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm really done. It's number seven. It has a sci-fi style, and it costs 2,070,000 chestnuts. Class number 8, it is a floating castle concept, and it costs the most expensive as of right now to add 2,370,000. Let's check out Hives number 7 first. Let's check out the environment first. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the hot air balloons in the distance. Immediately, I see more of a castle theme here. I see all the castles in the background and then a lot of like cherry blossom trees it's very pink and i love all the hot air balloons just floating in the background for houses number seven and eight the key selling point is that you also get to ride the ferris wheels since this is the last environment we're exploring today i'm going to also check out all the rides this is the spinning cup let us tap on it whoa <laughs> Look at me go! The first time I wrote this, I honestly was super excited. I just felt like I was in my own world. And all my worries are just spinning away, you know? Ah, we need to check out the train. We're gonna miss the train. Whoa, okay, so this is the train tunnel. Let us try and take the train. Here it comes, then all you have to do is tap on it. Yay! Wow, this is so fun. I love how my outfit is matching the train. Look at me riding into the sunset. Oh, this view is so nice with the spinning cups and the castle in the background. And we have reached. Oh, that was so fun. Okay, finally, let us check out the ride that is exclusive to house number 7 and 8, the Ferris wheel. Whoa. I wait to get on it. Ah. Look at this. Isn't it super huge? <gasps> oh my gosh, so pretty. Look at my kitty enjoying this. Whoa, check out the view, you guys. So there are some buildings in the distance. We have a cliff, lots of cherry blossom trees, hot air balloons, castles in the background. Super pretty. Okay, now let us check out the house itself for house number seven. First thing I notice is it comes with this traditional looking entryway. But then we have these modern designs on the left, so that's pretty interesting honestly all the houses for uh utopian paradise are very uniquely designed i cannot comprehend some of the layouts it's just so whimsical and just defies logic <laughs> this view is so pretty it's a so long since i really customized or designed a house in this game so i have kind of forgotten how interesting some of the furnitures are pretty nice kitchen and dining area i like it and it overlooks the spinning cups 
But it took me like, I don't know, many steps to get here. <laughs> Ooh, we can also head up. Okay, so at the top of house number seven, you have a basketball court. The left side of this is a more modern structure and the right side is more traditional. So it kind of mixes two different themes together. So now I'm on the traditional side and this is always a nice bath to get into. I like the moon that floats above it. The theme of this house is supposed to be cyberpunk. But we have this entire traditional looking structure on our right hand side, so <laughs> I'm not sure how the designer interpreted that. So if you want a house that is very unique, in that it merges two different themes together, you may want to consider house number 7. It is the biggest house that you can own right now in the utopian paradise as of August 2023 in the Singaporean and Malaysian servers. This is also the house that I'm living in right now. The environment is the same as house number 7, but of course the house is different. And this one features a whimsical floating castle concept. There are different structures as you can see here. Sort of assemble and put together and at first glance, you will find it confusing. <laughs> Trust me, you will be like, what? are these structures for. The environment is my favorite. It's super pretty. It has a lot of pink trees and the castle background with all these hot air balloons. And you also get to enjoy the Ferris wheel which is exclusive to 7 and 8. So when we go in, the first thing we see is this tiny pool and then three mysterious doors. Okay, the first one leads to the little panda room. The second one goes to uh, a bathtub. <laughs> the third one leads to... Ooh, it leads to the outside. I'm looking for the kitchen though. I think it's in the basement. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> How many fridges do we need? Why do I need so many pink stoves? Only life makeover can answer that. So I have a very huge kitchen here, but no dining area, which is kind of odd, right? So if you buy this house, you may have to customize it a little bit. I would probably create a dining area here. What is this pink bear? It's super cute. He looks like a gummy bear. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. He looks like a gummy bear. I'm gonna eat you. Oh my god, this creepy horse is here again. <laughs> Am I the only one who finds it creepy? Oh, I enjoy this swing. Okay, let's go up and see what surprises await. Okay, more fridges. What? Oh my gosh. I really don't understand why we need so many fridges. 难道有那么多材料吗? Now my question is, how do I get to that floating structure here? <laughs> I think I'm supposed to teleport there. It's like, a, I don't know, like some sort of tree or something. It's pretty, but it's not functional. <laughs> oh, so I missed out another door on the right hand side. Here's another. Ooh, okay. This kitchen is quite pretty. Oh, I love the wallpaper. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> More fridges. Okay. I like how everything is very pink. You know, it makes me happy. But I feel like we have too many fridges and stoves. <laughs> so, interestingly, the most expensive home in Utopian Paradise, at least for now, is also the smallest one in a way in terms of the actual house because of all the structures that are so small and just scattered across so i feel like it's more for aesthetics you know all these floating structures so i think it leaves a lot of room for you to customize because the land is pretty sure if the game releases more of the houses in utopian paradise i'll definitely be here to review it
That's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed touring Utopian Paradise as much as I did. Let me know in the comment section below which was your favorite house. Don't forget to like and subscribe because in my next video, I'll be giving a full wardrobe tour of all my clothes that I have collected in one year of playing Life Makeover. So that's going to be a big one. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for supporting me. I love you. 那我们下一个视频再见喽，拜拜。